Welcome to Amazed by the Quran, a series in which I love sharing with you things I find amazing about the Quran today. An excerpt from a story mentioned in Surah Al-Qalam, the 68th Surah. There are a bunch of farmers and they are uh, about to harvest the next morning. And it's going to be a really fruitful harvest. And they want to make sure that they go early, early, early in the morning before poor people wake up. Because the poor people in the village also know it's harvest day. So they're going to show up outside the farms and outside the gardens hoping that they can throw some fruits their way, give them some of it, and receive some charity. So they make a scheme that they're going to try to get there before any of the poor people show up. And so the language is, Make sure that not a single uh, poor person, and a single bankrupt person, enters upon you, meaning shows up in your vicinity. Just make sure you, and, and make sure you speak in a low voice not to wake anybody up, and go in a sneaky way and get back. Now they didn't push, you know, in other places in the Quran, يَدُوعُ He pushes the orphan. He doesn't encourage the you know, feeding of the poor. Other places you have people speaking ill or speaking harshly to uh, the poor, right? Or, or reminding them that you're doing them a favor. But in this ayah, they haven't had any interaction with the poor. They haven't. They, they weren't mean to anyone. They didn't yell at anyone. They simply talked to each other and said, let's avoid them. Let's just have the intention of not helping them. That's all. I mean, the, their speech doesn't really amount to anything more than an intention to not help. That's it. That's their crime. And when they got to the garden, there was nothing there. It was Allah sent a heavenly punishment to their garden, where when they got there, they actually said, Inna we don't even rec Did we come to the right place? This can't be the place. Wait, this is our place? How are we made bankrupt? In other words, their denial, in their hearts, their desire to deny the bankrupt, landed them becoming bankrupt. Be careful how you think about those in need. If you th just simply think about them as a nuisance, if you simply think about them as a nuisance, that is a disease that lies deep inside your heart and there are no bigger consequences in this life and in the next than diseases that are carried in our hearts. Actions are actually, they're worth something, but the matters of the heart are worth way, way, way more. You may not have done it, these people haven't done an evil deed yet. They've just stated the intention to not help. But that intention itself is enough to enrage Allah when that intention was made with such commitment. May Allah Azza wa Jal keep us of those who have a clean heart towards other people and not allow the, the corruptions inside of our hearts to manifest in things that are going to harm us in this life and harm us in the next. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.